guys welcome back to my channel today I'm coming on to share with you just um, some items which I've been using for um, art journaling which I've started just a couple of months ago and I thought it'd be really useful just to share these with you because the majority of them were just things that I had in my stash or things that I just picked up from the local um, craft store but what I would say is no matter what you've got, you can always create an art journal page with it. You just need a little bit of inspiration. Um, that is the most important thing for me that has helped me with art journaling. Pinterest, looking on Instagram and YouTube videos. And just having a go, let loose with art journaling. Because that's what it's about, just letting your creativity out. So first thing that you're going to need is a canvas to put your work on. Now, if you're like me and you're into journal making, I just made this um, fabric journal, which I've put a, a mishmash of pages in, all different sizes, colours, everything like that. I have got a video on how I made this journal cover because it's, um, it's like a soft cover, really soft and malleable. So if you're into journal making, you can make your own journal. If you're not and you've got like a nice sketchbook or art book just with plain paper in it you could use that this was the first ever art journal that I did I've only done a couple of pages in there but it has um, like quite thick artist grade paper in here and I'm from Birmingham so this was just um, for sale in the local art shop picked it up just for a couple of pounds so you could use that as an alternative if you didn't have anything like that and you just wanted to get straight into it, this type of thing is brilliant. Just something with paper in it. If you had cardstock lying around, you know, even if it was brown, white, whatever colour, um, just apply the colours straight down. Sorry, I had to pause the video there to sneeze, so my apologies. So you can use anything like this. Anything, just something to get your medium down. And then... Um, in terms of, these are my main art journaling supplies per se, but you can just use anything that you have around really. So let's start off with the paints first of all. Now, how I store them, this is in like a three drawer acrylic bin, um, like a, a three tour a three tier drawer set that was a bit of a mouthful and to be honest the majority of these paints that I had already had them before I started art journaling like these colours they're just old paints that I had from doing odd craft projects the golds metallic silvers I bought a couple of these um, just acrylic paints and I really like acrylic because they can go on thick um, and they pretty much cover the area so I like quite bold art journaling at the moment and they just pretty much striking colours you know and what I do is they don't necessarily go together but they clash in a nice way these colours so I'll try and pick up colours that are versatile so just pick up yourself a very small selection of paints so these were a pound each so they cost me five pounds just from my local craft store and they've lasted really well they're still probably majority full acrylic goes a long way so use whatever you've got I've also used I don't know what these are called stickles or something like that I think people call them but they're like the 3d pearl effects I've used those as well and they're really good I'll come on to the uses for those as well in a moment so that is how you can slap down a bit of background color alternatively you might have something like this one of my friends Angie um, very kindly gifted me this maybe about two years ago maybe I'm not sure um, so yeah watercolors I think that's what you call them whatever you want to refer to those as you can use those and those are brilliant just good for putting down a bit of color adding color or you can purchase like a set like this I think this was less than 10 pounds from Hobbycraft so anything just to put a little bit of colour down on your page, that's great. So a lot of art journaling will um, add some textures or detailing. So you've obviously got paintbrushes. You, if you've already a crafter, you will already have paintbrushes. Some of my art journaling pages, I have just used my fingers. And then I've added details in with um, pens and felt, felt tips after the event. So as you can see, I just keep all of my tools in one tray like this. And what I do is I don't actually put these trays in the drawer. I just leave them on the desk to me because next to me. They're a nice little bin just to put stuff in and just have easy grab. I 
have had these for years so you find point um, ones I like to keep those separate because they're nice just to reach for and it has been quite useful to have a palette knife but I've seen a lot of people spread paints with things like old store cards or loyalty cards just to give you that nice smeared finish there's me saying I keep all my fine um, paintbrushes separate and uh, hypocrite me got one in the drawer you know what it's like when you're crafting so yeah lots of these things that have um, a brayer from stamping and like I was saying a lot of art journals actually add texture so I've got some things that I've collected around the home to either add shapes or texture onto the page so this is the inside of one of these Starbucks sleeves so that'll add like a really nice line stampy texture to your work um, you can't go wrong with bubble wrap that is great for adding any texture and you'll probably see if you check out my Instagram um, I'll leave a link to that down below a lot of my work I'll show it to you whilst we're here a lot of my art journal pages I've got circles on I think I've done it in one of these uh, okay so this one so that circle there that's that so I put blue paint around it and I just press it down onto the page that smaller circle there going back to what we were saying is one of these lids so I take the lid off I put some paint on it and I just stamp it there so you don't need anything fancy you can literally just use what you have around the home again that's textured around the rim if you put paint on it and rolled it up again it would probably give you the same effect um, the smaller ones there I think that might have been a pen lid or something like that. Let me see if I've got some other examples. I know I've used it more. Well, yeah, so here are the white here. Yeah. So those whites again. Oh. Is that. Never really use this in art journaling. You know, it's just any paintbrushes or anything like that that you have laying around. And that's how I store them. I don't store them in a pencil case because you know what it's like being a crafter if it's away somewhere you tend not to use it and then coming on to the final thing which i find is great for art journaling is pens to add any finer detail now you can use sharpies but sharpies don't seem to work very well on top of paints they like clog up experiment with whatever felt tips you've got some of my felt tips work brilliantly on top of painted surfaces others don't um, it's just a bit of a mixed bag but you might need to be prepared that it might be a little risk that you take best black pen that i have that works on paint is just a ballpoint pen and that's what i use for any of my fine black details because what i find is um, you know fiber tip ones they seem to clog up with the paint but by far the best investment that I've used are acrylic paint pens. So these are just local brands from my local craft shop. I think they're like 150 each. And then I've got these. Not sure how to pronounce. So thick white, thin white, thick pink. And there's some just acrylics. So the white is brilliant. And it is very, very fine on the tip. And then these ones are very thick on the tip so they have different uses but they're brilliant they'll just paint over the majority of surfaces as will um, sharpies but be careful if you're going over paint with the sharpies and then again some of these are older paints and they're just acrylics and again i just use, leave them in a tub i didn't buy anything fancy this was a mushroom tub so i've just salvaged it and it's nice to just keep it on the desk and as you can see i just literally throw the bits in and Again, with these, with the paints, I tried to get them that they would complement and go with my bright colours of my acrylics that I'd already invested in. And I think they were about £5 for the set of neons as well. So you don't have to break the bank. You'll probably have a lot of this stuff in your stash if you're already a crafter like me. But what I would say is if you fancy art journaling, just jump in, have a look on Pinterest, pin away until your heart is content and then just have a go. Yeah, you know, if you're just using something like this, um, just for your first couple, you're not wasting anything. If you then fall in love with those pieces, um, bind those into your journal. So if you're going to make your own journal, 
bind whatever your first attempt was into the journal so that you have a first page because your first page in your journal can sometimes be daunting so i really hope this video has helped don't forget to check out my instagram i've got a lot more of my art journaling stuff on there if you are interested in that thanks guys